the uh, four leaders of the legislature representing both parties uh, and uh, both houses uh, came to uh, agreement uh, with the governor on a uh, budget uh, budget legislation that's being introduced in both houses today. The uh, Senate bill is being uh, will have under the prime sponsorship of uh, Senator Bucco and uh, the assembly bill under the prime sponsorship of Assemblyman uh, Malone. Uh, that uh, legislation is uh, based on and uh, consistent with the governor's budget proposal made to the legislature on uh, March 16th uh, as updated by the treasurer in his testimony to the two budget committees at the end of May. We heard the governor uh, you know, often and clearly uh, set forth that his objectives uh, in the budget uh, were to close uh, the $12 billion shortfall in the fiscal year 11 budget, uh, to do so uh, without raising taxes, uh, to um, uh, keep uh, appropriations at a level of about uh, $29.3 billion, uh, and to maintain an ending surplus uh, at the level that he had uh, proposed. He uh, said that on, in, in, he'd be willing to you know, consider adjustments within that uh, framework, and the legislation being introduced today is completely consistent with that uh, framework and includes a uh, uh, um, uh, approximately $74 uh, million dollars of uh, reallocations of uh, spending within a, a $29.3 billion budget. So that's $74 uh, million dollars of uh, program restorations that are spelled out in the press release are uh, paid for by uh, a uh, $74 million of uh, cost savings in other parts of the budget uh, from approximately two dozen lines uh, representing areas where the appropriations that were made are uh, greater than will be needed in the coming year. So all of the uh, restorations in the budget are fully uh, are fully paid for. Uh, the changes that were made within the framework defined by the the uh, gov by the governor account for two tenths of one percent. Well, there are about two dozen uh, savings items uh, that have been identified as a function of. Um, of recent weeks uh, interaction with the, uh, the legislature. Um, they involve, uh, for instance, uh, uh, fund balances that they've identified or we have agreed um, on. Um, there are some trends that we have adjusted at their suggestion. So for instance, um, uh, the UI contribution is trending down, so we feel that we can save five million in that area. Um, there are some, some uh, there's a cultural trust, four million in the cultural trust that can be reprogrammed um, into um, into another uh, one, in that, cultural grants. Yeah, that one washes through. That's, right. a, so That's a, a sort of a yes on cultural trust that then happens to match exactly with the four million expenditure in cultural trust. Um, there's the there's in addition to these, there are some small cuts. For instance, the state controller's office would be reduced by two million. Um, we are uh, taking some money that had been programmed in another WASH transaction, uh, some money that had been devoted to planning grants in the Highlands, um, to, to uh, Highlands grants proper to the municipalities. It's about $2 million. Some money from the Universal Services Fund that's available. So you'll have a complete list.